to Guinea-Bissau, where voters are hopeful for stability in the West African country after more than a year without parliament as a vote in the just-concluded legislative elections. They are seeking representatives with their best interests, a drop in the price of food, and an increase in the exportation of agricultural produce, particularly cashew. New Central's Adeshewa Udushoga monitor the elections and now reports. Nearly a million Guinea-Bissau voters have once again chosen their MPs in Parliament more than a year after President Omaru Sissoko Mbalu disbanded it due to allegations of corruption. After a coup attempt in February 2022 following the dissolution of the Parliament, voters are looking for stability in the government. The voters exercised their franchise peacefully under the watch of around 600 soldiers with hopes of change. More than 20 political parties are contesting 100 seats in the National People's Assembly. O processo foi pacífico, a contagem também foi pacífica. É, teve bastante presença dos delegados de lista dos partidos políticos, estavam bem representados. A maior parte de todos os partidos políticos que estão a concorrer fizeram-se presentes nas mesas eh, de votos. Conseguimos percorrer mais ou menos como observar 60 eh, mesas de votos aqui na região de, de Bissau e não registramos grandes eh, complicações. Em suma, tudo correu muito bem. Houve nenhum problema, nem dos, nem guerra. O ambiente corre bem, segundo como eu conheço, misto. Gente bem massa e bem volta, cada quem coordina, quem que na governa se governa são quatro anos para o futuro. Anta povo bem, cada quem bem o volta de maneira que ele entende como é. It's the country's seventh legislative election since opening a multi-party system nearly three decades ago. Results are expected 48 hours after the voting took place. People, first of all, must think and reflect, not vote the same way, because we need change. It will be uh, so essential if our votes are based on the program that the political party will, uh, will give us and uh, the profile of, uh, of those politicians. Guinea-Bissau has faced chronic instability in the shape of repeated coups ever since its independence from Portugal in 1974, which have led into economic and political turmoil. The voters are hoping whoever emerges will put the interests of the people and the country first. Adisha Waldushoga reporting for New Central.